This natural tension has in recent times expressed itself in unhealthy hostility, undercutting, and at times partners overstepping the boundaries of their constitutional mandate to attempt to take up the role of others. This ultimately obstructs the cause of justice with some partners unwilling to subject or submit themselves to constitutional scrutiny and accountability by fellow partners within the NCAJ. Let me say this. The pen is mightier than the sword. Even when the sword apprehends, at the end of it, it is the pen that decides. It is the judiciary that will decide with a stroke of the pen. Hence, the pen is mightier than the sword. I may fall, but I assure you that the next DPP will come from amongst you. And I assure you that the next DPP, if I do fall at all, will come with more gusto to pick from where I've left. The pen has written, the ink has dried, we will not allow any clawbacks on this constitution. Even when we are exposed to pressures and differences of opinion amongst ourselves, we must encourage dialogue, respect collegiality, and the enhancement of goodwill amongst ourselves. Above all, the constitution, a living document upon which we are all sworn upon, must be the guide. It must be the safeguard against our worst impulses. Some of us have served in the front line for this country. I have served in Somalia, fighting Al-Shabaab, and nothing will cower me as much as I know and as long as I know that I'm serving this country. 